Tonight on The Backyard Scientist, my garden is attacked by a rabbit. I set my living room floor on fire and I get into a fight with the screen. So it's been raining all week and I haven't had the time to go outside and film my normal projects. But there's good news, I just got a high speed camera that can shoot at 1000 frames per second and that's 40 times the speed of a regular camera. So let's have some fun with it. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is something that I like to call the flame saber and it looks just like a fiery lightsaber because inside of this bottle is highly pressurized butane gas that's turned into a liquid. So at the top of this bottle there's a little tiny hole in it and when you open it the butane is propelled by its own vapor pressure out in a very narrow stream. So when you light it on fire you get this awesome effect that looks like a fiery lightsaber. This little stream of butane can create a stream of fire about four feet long. It's really cool to see in real life, but it looks just as cool on slow motion. When I first opened that little bottle, a lot of butane is sprayed around the sides and that makes for an impressive fireball. Now this is a really cool shot. It's really interesting to see how the stream of butane gets engulfed in a tube of fire as it travels down there. All right, for our next bad idea, I've got another fire experiment. So, you know when you first light a fire, how there's that big lump at the beginning, like, like that. So, what I'm gonna do is go out in my living room and pour a thin strip of acetone across the floor and place my camera at one end of it. When I light one end, the flame will travel towards the camera and we'll see a wave of flame traveling. It should be pretty cool. Let's go check it out. The way that the flame rolls past the camera like a wave is something that I've never seen before. So I repeated the experiment with double the frame rate, a thousand frames per second for this next shot. Looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. I'm pretty sure this effect is caused by a fuel-air ratio. So the more gaseous a fuel it is, the better mixed with oxygen it is. That's why that first flame travels faster than the main flame. So for our final experiment, this is something that's really cool and that I just found out completely on accident. So it's been raining all week and one of the days the rain fell on the screen in such a way that it completely coated the screen in a thin film of water. So I went out there with my camera and I slapped the screen and I recorded it in slow motion and it turned out really cool. So I'm going to play that for you and you'll see exactly what I saw, it's pretty cool. So this is the first shot I took. It was just on a small section of screen and it wasn't really that cool. So I repeated the experiment by pouring water over the big part of the screen. It's really cool to see the shockwave from me hitting the screen travel across it. I wonder how big of a screen this will still work on. Anyway, I slowed it down even more so we can see the effect better. It's interesting that the shockwave travels up, down, and side to side with the little squares in the screen. Well, alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it because I've got a lot more cool slow motion stuff coming up. Well, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch this video, Molten Aluminum versus a Watermelon. Or you can watch this, Colored Fire. You should also come hang out with me on my Facebook page. I put the link down below in the description. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit this button. Yeah, 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 I promised you guys a bunny, so here's your cute bunnies eating plants in slow motion. Isn't she cute? If anybody's wondering, the camera I have is a Sony RX10 Mark II. It actually does really impressive slow motion. I'm quite pleased with it.